Okay, so we have our postcode here. We did so far, we have the image and the heading on the top. We're building a postcode like this one. Yep. And so far, what we have out of this, we have this, right? We have just the title and the image, but we have them one on top of each other because in HTML, when you have an element, you put any element and then you put another one, they will be on top of each other by default. If you want them to be on the same, you have to put one, then you have to put the other, then you have to wrap them in a parent, and then you gotta apply to this parent the display position and it's gonna be flex like that when you do that automatically this div right here it's gonna move to the side and then it's gonna be like this so it will end up being like this one the other one and the parent with display flex as a css property and that's what we are about to do next. And that's what I'm explaining actually in this explanation for this particular step. You can see that it's explaining that when you have a, div, a one div A and a div B, but you grab it, you wrap them into a parent div and you apply the display flex, they will now be on the sides instead of one on top of each other. So we have to apply display flex to the parent of them. And who's the parent of those two? It doesn't have to be divs, my bad. I always say div, div, div. It's element, whatever element. So I have this element and this other element, and they have a, a common parent. They share the same parent. It have to be an immediate parent. So I can just say now postcode header, and I can say display flex. And hopefully, you see, now they are on the sides. But of course, they still don't match exactly with our design, so we gotta keep tweaking, right? So what's the next thing? We have to apply a smaller width and height to the image. So let's do that. We can say that, you, you can say to the postcard header image, when you put a space between, you can use another selector and it's gonna be considered a child of this one. So if I say the postcard header P, it's gonna grab all the postcard head all the elements p inside postcard header so it's good because you can nest your selection right so i want all the images from the postcard header i can also say all the elements with the class glow inside the elements with the class postcard header like it doesn't have to be a tag select it can be a class or an id so in this case i'm gonna use um what was it image the image tag so I'm, I'm saying the image inside postcard header i want it to have a width of 50 pixels and a height of 50 pixels and let's build and it's supposed to be looking a little, a little bit better you can see that it's a little bit better but still this image needs to go to the right All right so what are we going to do we're going to make this div on the left that contains my postcard it's not a div it's an h1 this one, we can grow it until it matches there. So basically, I can apply to this H1, I can say with 100% and it will take it to the right. Here it is. You see how it's taking it to the right now? Again, without, with, without, with, without. This is an amazing tool what I'm using right now, the inspector. When you right click and inspect something, you can play with the styles right away here. You can apply styles to it right here. I can just click and start typing a style name. That's super cool. And I do it all the time to test my theories. And then when I'm absolutely sure about what I want to do, that that's when I come here and I do, it was the H1, right? So I have to say to the H1, I want to apply a width of 100 pixels. I think that's what it's, they're asking us to do here. Remove the margins from the H1 as well. Ah, yeah, it says make the H1 a lot wider. so. I, I made it 100 pixels and then it's telling me to remove the margin. So margin zero. And that's because by default, every H1 comes with a margin on the top. You can see it there. When I, when I hover it, you see on the top a different color, like an orange color. 
that's the margins right there. How do you know it's the margin? Because you can click here and compute it, and it will tell you the color. Look, margin. So margin is orange, border is like yellow, padding is green, and the, the container itself is blue. So we need to remove the margins because we want my postcard to be on the edge right next or at the same level of the, as the image. So we can try it here by saying margin zero and it, you know now how it's going to look. But you have to apply it to, to the styles as well. So here it is. And now if I build again, it's going to build now with without any margins. And that's pretty much it. That's how it needs to look right now. Let's test it. And all tests have passed. Amazing.